This is going to be a quick iClone tutorial. iClone is split into three separate programs. So first what you want to do is open up the iClone 5 Pro, the main program. And first what you want to do is go up to Actor. You can import your own actors and everything, but we're just going to bring Chuck in here. So we've got our guy. And now we want to go to Animation, Motion, and go to Device Mocap. Click on that. And we have this little device console. Now at this point here, we have to open up another program called the Mocap Device Plugin. And you download this separately. And you open this up, and this allows you to actually uh, connect to your camera. And so here we are with our live feed of our Xbox Connect. Now this is the 1.1 version. Uh, they do have a new version that's a little bit different but it's basically the same. In the new version this body command function here is unchecked uh, which is really strange so you may have to click that make sure that's clicked that basically makes it work okay so now we go back after this is open we go back over here to this device console and we hit connect on that as well so connect here connect here or connect them on both and now all you gotta do is walk in front of your camera and then the rest of the controls are done through gestures so I just walk in front of the camera oh hold on let me tilt my monitor so I can see and we've got a little guy there that shows up so you just walk in front of it kind of stand where you're supposed to stand it counts down and now if you want to record you just move over to the little red thing here and now we're recording and now you see the character is doing what I'm doing so let's get in here a little bit there we go yeah so now it's it's working it's doing what it's supposed to do we've got movement you know the, the legs are a little jittery but uh, there we go you just gotta find the right range and now everything's working alright so after you got that you just hit the space bar and that will stop the uh, there we go. That will stop the recording. So now as you can see, we open this up, and we grab the slider, and we have a recorded movement. So, yeah. Now what you want to do is, here's kind of the, the confusing part. We want to take our, our actor, Chuck, let's shrink this down, get rid of that, we don't need that anymore. Now we want to open up iClone 3D Exchange. You cannot directly export your mocap from the iClone program, so we have to use this iClone 3D Exchange extension. So what you do is you just grab your character right here, just right click on him and go to Add to Library. Here he is. Drag him in. Just a drag and drop from the menu. So it's going to go ahead and import our character. And to get the movement, you have to go to animation again and hit this plus button here. And that adds the motion capture movement you have on the timeline. Then you just drag the motion capture movement onto your character. And now here we are in 3D Exchange with our character and his movements. So now from here we can go ahead and we can export this as an OBJ, a BVH, FBX, whatever we want. So you just click on FBX and we have, have 3ds Max, Maya, everything you need. Here's all your options and this allows you to directly import your motion capture data into the 3D application of your choice.